I got fucking slammed. Of the Invitational. Six events we've had, half of them belong to North America. And this one is for TSM. Damn, we gotta we gotta make time make up time here. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Um Do I just have to watch? Oh, I do. Actually, hold up. Let's not let's not do YouTube. I mean, let's not do Twitch. Let's do YouTube. Hello, hello, <clears throat> hello, hello. Look at this position from Bullet. Oh, he's shit. So wary of the jump out, and he's also preventing the rotation. Do I have drops on? They look like they're setting I don't know if I have drops or not. Either that, or looking to punish the mistakes of W7M. Players, they cannot rotate. Oh. I do have drops. Hell fucking yeah. You're blinking, you miss it, I guess. Face clan immediately retaliate. Those dorms attacks with the amount are so oppressive. It's just so Hello. Hello everyone. They put the Hello. on the players below, but only that. They get into the perfect position. How's your morning? Not too bad. Same thing with the armory repellent as well. Not too bad. 
every other way that those ground floor players could have tried to rotate back up was shut out by FaZe. And in tandem with the pressure on the side, they were able to choke out W7M. It didn't feel like FaZe had really pressed that attack all too hard until they found a pick that let them in and the cameraman... He Dude, this guy's done this like fucking two rounds in a row. He just loves that SMG 11 in close range. I know. <coughs> I... <coughs> fuck. I wanted to scream the first semi-final. I woke up for the alarm and I'm like, fuck this shit. causing problems for the defense the defense has to problem solve the attack it's off it's the other way around yeah. in this position in the matchup we often say that the attack has a problem that they need to solve in the defense they need to dissect the map but in fact it's all being thrown apart w7m gonna try and get aggressive herds on this spawn peak we need that energy that herds brought during the my player six i don't know we need the fire that w7m We've been, <clears throat> the thing is, we've been scrimming so fucking much lately, and it's hard to play it after scrims. They were almost as dominant, back-to-back Brazilian champions, but within... It's really fucking hard. Because we finish at, like, fucking, like, 8 my time. And if I, if I take, like, an hour to chill, it's already 9, and it's, like, fucking late as shit. And for what tournament? I mean, we got we got we got shit to do. Look at that Rotero drone takes out everything. The Kona station. Oh, the Kona station still stands somehow. Salvation stations. Salvation station. Too good, I guess. I'm still trying to figure out who our fifth is. Astro as well, using the Osa shield to enable this minimalist push into the big tower. W7M will have to recall that place. Yo, casket. <coughs> Thank you for the tier two, homie. 430. Been a trip. Love you both. Keep it real. Keeping it real. Thank you for the tier two, homie. Much love, much love. Ethereal Gator. Thank you for the tier one. Makoto. Thank you for the nine. Kola Kiker. Thank you for the tier one. Nitty. Thank you for the tier one. Zorlik with the four. Thank you, thank you. Why not watch Road? Maybe because it started at like 6 a.m. and I'm not. Not waking up. I'm not sleeping five hours to watch. What the fuck? <clears throat> not not gonna sleep for five hours just to watch a semifinal. Not gonna even sleep five hours to watch a grand final. Does this stream give packs? Yes, there are drops, so I should probably. Drops are on. Where is the response? There it is from W7M, and they stand tall. It's a 2v2. As the <coughs> have got to step up, it's on Hertz, the hype man himself, and his trusty support GDN on for this retake. Moved up towards that diffuser, trying to beat out a push, but there it is from Bullet. Roger. <coughs> Bullet is all that he needs. Phase Clan. Do these guys play in groups? Let me pull up my the Wikipedia. Oh no, FaZe was in different groups, okay. Am I co streaming tomorrow? Um, I don't... We'll see. It depends on the time. <clears throat> we do actually have today and tomorrow off. So I'm pretty sure just for the, the major. So we'll see. We'll see. Same region. Yeah, I forgot. It's fucking 16 teams. Not over just yet, but what they need is this mental 
reset. They need to go onto phases. <laughs> they just got the whole main menu on the fucking main screen for the the crowd. They've shown some cafe this tournament. They've shown just how good they are. But FaZe Clan have dominated on Oregon. And W7M need to fight back right now. We'll go to a break. Stick around. How big is that venue? Uh, B1? Is that blue is through the front? Dude, what happened to my dashboard? It's so fucking weird. Rexy through the front. But yeah, what was the uh, score line for Exit Road? Let me see. I was thrilled when Ninjas in Pajamas got its revenge in Paris. Exit seven one Rogue on Bank, Rogue seven four on Chalet, and then seven one on Ori. Uh, Deepa, Deepa through the front. Coyote through the four. <clears throat> Nobody TSM FTX became the new world champions in Stockholm. This is it. This is my major story. And as an official hardware partner of Rainbow Six Esports, I feel blessed to witness them for such a long time. Head with another gifted, thank you. Or actually, a gifted on top of the reset. Thank you, homie. Welcome back, friends, to Berlin. We continue with our major. <laughs> and our second matchup of the day, best of three series. Map one, Oregon, a classic one. But this all BRBR matchup is uh, done. A lot of action on the server, not gonna lie. Expected. Yeah, I mean, obviously, <laughs> right? But um, I said I didn't expect that many like gimmicks on Oregon. We saw a couple of them, Jack. It wasn't just one round. Maybe a sports performance. I haven't been watching too many games, but I heard he's been doing good. So props to props to Spoy for pulling it, yeah. pulling up for uh, for his first event. Yeah, Jack, like, Jack, why would you pick Juice and Scenario? And I went maybe for the LMG, and then three K, and I was like, yeah, LMG's pretty good. And you know what? I bet for Blue Seven M, I really regret that though. Yeah, there's so much that you can ban out now, but it seems like LMGs is the way to go. We got a clip already, and we you did. guys requested it, so go ahead. It's all Still trying to snake or the situation? Uh, you guys will find out when the time comes. Coyote, they have the five gifted, fucking killing it, homie. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. A minute 30 here, the Rumaru in into the site. Cameraman getting a double kill. There's another kill coming in off site, and it's just a 3 2 1 fast execute. So they're going slow, into fast, and they change it up. And the one thing that does is it keeps teams guessing. Yep, that it does. And they do it time and time again. Not just one time, not just twice, but three, four, five, seven. They continue to do that throughout the entirety of the game. And if you're W7M and you're not super experienced either, what Soon. do you do? 
Do you play passive? Uh -huh. Do they rush you? Do you play aggressive? And then maybe they played slow and they played get or opening kills. It's so hard to say guys because Prop, if I had a guess, <coughs> things will start getting announced you, you, you near the stage. I don't know. You kind of just like we know whether they're gonna rush. We we see the signs. We're safe. They just you have no idea what they're gonna do, and it makes them so hard to play against because you're always second guessing yourself. This reminds me of Face Clan in 2018. We're going. Wait, what the fuck? Are they up there? Wait, what the fuck is it stage? Those motherfuckers are up there. You just realized? Well, every time I've watched the majors on my second mod roll, I'm doing something. I think Jack said it well. It's like, play your own game, right? You don't let them, di them dictate what you should be doing. You try and force the pace onto them, right? Whether it's playing super aggressive yourself, shutting down the entries, or playing passive together, guaranteed refrags. Essentially, you gotta make sure that whatever face is doing isn't working every single time. I think what you've got to do is actually meet fire with fire. There's a few rounds where W7M, W7M looks a little bit more default, quote unquote default. Is when teams, and we saw this yesterday with Fury, is when they go up against FaZe, another last time team, they kind of have to play the role of the non last time team. Mm -hmm. And that's what FaZe is so good, is that you get kind of dragged in into playing their game. W7M just is focused on their game, which is aggressive, which is explosive, um, and not worry too much about who their opponent is. I do agree. I mean, the very final round from FaZe was extremely surgical on that meeting attack. Plank was covered, Plank went down, two trades went through, and sure. WSMM almost brought it back, but again, FaZe's fundamentals are also strong when it comes down to it. And it's something we talked about in the pregame, which is the experience that FaZe... How do I feel about the fucking the players being up in the sky, bro? Don, I feel like this bottom part with, like, all the stru like the, st the structures is, like, an eyesore. It was still an impressive showing from the squad, and we'll get to see the map summary 7-4 to four for FaZe Clan, of course. The team, but you need a concerted team effort to take down someone like FaZe. I mean, I did speak up about KC, you know, before the first map. Dude, what is this but graphic? Yesterday was really the story of W7M. Today, Volk's had a bit of a slow start. Of course, we got more maps to go, but across the board, I feel like player by player value, FaZe gets a little bit more. And Coyote with another gift. Thank you. Thank you so much. Was Xena through the Prime? This is a team that, you know, everyone's got their own story about people like Hammerman. You know, from an event that they attended, you know, three, four, five, however many years ago, you know, you say I was there in Milan when he actually got on camera, right? But <laughs> yeah. if you look at the, the actual experience of this roster, the amount they've for the team, I, I will say a lot of, like, of the graphic team. work sucks. This event. All right, then map number two, Cafe Dostoevsky in this series. Again, a classic map in how things have been going in the metagame. Trophy looks nice. I think I like this one. Do I like this one more than the Charlotte one? Yeah, probably. Yeah, maybe. I'd have to really see it. I really put my hands on it. Just kidding. The way I saw it was that WTMM had to win Oregon to win this series. Because Cafe is going to go one way in my opinion, and that's FaZe. You can ban one attack, one defender, but FaZe, they can play five or six different ones. So many yep. different styles, so they got something up their sleeve. Very quickly, we've got to go to break. Map 3, yes, no? no. Just in the graphic, I'm pretty sure I did yeah. see it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We'll disagree. We'll agree to disagree. Sure. Maybe we'll get a villa. Maybe like the like the team names just it didn't look like their fucking team names were whatever. Of the new kids on the block. W7M versus Face Clan. Yeah, because they would always like they would always shorten their the team names in like three letters or something. Like try to fucking.
Negative of 26. Kind of looks like it would be a nightmare to live in. That's just that's just a European city, right? Honestly, if you showed me this picture of like these buildings, I want like these like weird slope buildings. I'd say like fucking France or some shit. This shit looks crazy. But I guess it's just like European style, right? European fucking apartments. Apparently the stage is so high, like where I can see the players. Yeah, see that's that's another one of my concerns that I was gonna bring up is that like one of the cool things about being a spectator at an event is seeing the players like in real life. Like, you know, you could throw a water bottle at them if you wanted to. Honestly, that kind of sucks. That's, that stage kind of sucks. Welcome back, Berlin. It could be over. Hopefully there's no Ubi rep in the in the stream. See me talk shit about all this. That shit away. It was actually, dude, it was hard to get perps to fucking co stream this. They didn't let me in at first. came in as one of the tournament favorites. They were looking like hot property from Brazil, but they've got a lot of work to do to climb back out of this one. They absolutely do phase. They look. There's top seeding. Yeah, but still, it's like. I don't know. Everything is going their way, and W7M, they're trapped in what phase kind of thought. W7M to call their name in history. They must fight back on Cafe. For this dream to stay alive, they must stay in the running. I wish TSM were in more majors, you know? I wish that too. To do what no team has ever done before and win two majors to get there, they're going to have to finally put to bed the question of who reigns supreme in Brazil. to be the first fan to go out on the side of phase of I will say as a player that stage is probably sick major picked often hey that's a good one you don't see that ban every uh, every now and then cyber <laughs> little smiley face Fafri's well taken out the third one to go through what will be next will be Miro will be Kaid the crowd can tell us you're gonna see that mirror slip through. It's up to FaZe to decide. Oh my, all right. So there's a lot of operators left in here, Mandy. A lot of big hitters have slipped through. Well, of course, the Twitch being taken out, that was Cyber's pick in that last particular match. I think my rank 2.0, I have no idea what rank 2.0 is. That being taken away does mean that your thatch has been let through, or if your hard breach has been let through as well. Same thing on the defense. Oh, Lua Maya is gone. You're still holding on to your mirror. You're still holding on to Azami. All these kinds of very potent picks now for the defense have been left in. And Faze starting us out on this ground floor. Um, we get the Tachanka again. I love to see. You want to win? Uh, this one probably Faze. Such a phenomenal player for FaZe this tournament, hasn't he? But there is one thing that has slipped through that ban phase. KZ. 
One of the most so Joe playing Finca? I do not like Finca. He has his Finca. He certainly got the Finca, but can he use it to good effect? Cyber, of course, opening up that bottom white doorway, looking for some cheeky spawn peaks on the side of W7M, immediately pressing that defense. A bakery hold. This is quite a special one as well. The shield instead facing the small bakery window, directly contesting it does enable the player behind the counter to take much easier fights onto the double door. They don't have to worry about being backstabbed anymore. And W7M, they're bringing the Monty to try and deal with it. This is probably just target bans? Yeah, no. Often see Monty. A little bit more than that. Got that in his arsenal, but it's going to be difficult to clear this position. And the Monty might be able to walk on in, but is it going to be an adequate tool to deal with this oh-so-complicated setup? But look at this from W7M. They're Ooh. starting to shape their push around the bakery, aided by this Monty. Grenades as well in the hands of some of these attackers. KZ, he will throw one out. Actually, get down onto Bullet. He takes him down. The first pick of this map. A big one as well. Smoke meant to be time delay. Well, hasn't even been a minute. And Bullet is out of the game. W7M immediately rotate, completely forfeiting the ground that they have gained to now invest upstairs JV right around the corner from cameraman who makes this cameraman but W7 ADS and we start to slip the lead phase desperate to claw something back now Volves with the sledge in his hands <sighs> can get to work on that second floor the rest of the phase members forced off the site if that vertical pressure were to come through. But Cyber, he starts to get aggressive, taking the final to White Stairs, but it doesn't matter. Hurts to take him down. And W7M now 5 2 in the lead. This is exactly what W7M <laughs> needed to kick off Cafe. It's FaZe Clan's map pick. W7M got the L handed to them on Oregon. Well, they expected to prosper. The gamble, it didn't work. Now they have to start strong here. Really send a message to FaZe Clan that they are not going to go down easy. Souls can't quite land the shots he needs. And on the re-peak, Volbs very happy about that one. Astro now left in the one versus five scenario. Crossfire being held through this hallway. The player at the bottom brown stairs and the bottom <laughs> red as well. He's going to be met by a world of resistance any second now. Oh, Think Tardy through the prime. JV to lock it in. W7M breathing out a sigh of relief. They get a flawless round to kick off Cafe. And this is what is so scary about this up and coming roster. Their attacks, especially on Cafe, are phenomenal. Well, that's been the story of the season. Any of these team NA? No. All the NA teams are knocked out. It's all been the way that they assert the pressure onto the defense, make them worry. And then have the defense have to problem solve mid rounds, decide whether they're actually going to try and contest the roam clear, whether they're going to fall off, because you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. We can see here all of the phase players trying to look for the timing to get aggressive, even contesting the vertical, but it didn't work against W7M. That's fucking unlucky. Not only landing the kill, but he sprayed that body down, taking it out on phase. Bit of frustration, no doubt, after Oregon. And what has got to be the call after they lose that map, after they go down in threat of elimination, after everything they have achieved, after the heartbreak that they felt in Charlotte, they've been placing their hopes on this major to be their opportunity to make a name for themselves. Phase now setting up their defense onto reading and fireplace, their second site of choice. I'm gonna bullet the frag replacement for one of those support players. As well. Just because you're on a certain opera doesn't mean you're playing support. Like that guy was in the front front of the line. So if they do a big take, that guy's the first one getting getting shafted. <laughs> you probably had an FMG. Pinpoint the impact of it last round. It felt like W7M just got so many picks. And spiraled their advantage even before that Monty had an impact. I think a zombie's gonna be meta. Yeah, it is meta. These hatches with that sledgehammer. Seems like a clear through the top floor will be what W7M go for, but if it's their usual MO, of course, they're gonna have a rest of the NAT's just folded. I mean, making his way up the red stairs. 
starting to use the city holes against the player inside of piano. Let's see, who are the NA teams going? It was OXGX at Sonics and no refrag as of yet and he starts to fall back looks she exit sonics who the astralis damn that sucks and look at that the monty charging his way forward now through the white hallway i think astralis just had a disappointing major sonics freezer instead hurts kind of normal no i think they they did good at invite they got what seventh or something at invite how long are they gonna hold on no six. It's quite aggressive. But the thing is, it's going to be very difficult for Bullet to fall off in this position, isn't it? There's someone on the roof. There's someone cutting off souls as well. If he wants to get out, he's got to go through the white rotate. But the enemy is going to come through. Souls, he can hop up. Whatever. But what about Bullet? Ooh, Bullet. Well, he's made use of his. So I think just Astralis. A decent hunk of damage. Astralis just didn't have a good major. Astro elsewhere though. He's the one who's taken down. Oh, and the cut off from KZ. Perfect timing coming through garage, and that rotation has been punished. There's only two players left from phase. They know they need to bring this man advantage back to an equality, especially with that Monty on the board. And just look at that—a perfect pinch as well, coming from W7M. Oh, oh no, what? this is a bit of a damn. This motherfucker got a claymore and an air jab on that shit. Seconds, but only Souls is left up to contest the site. Yeah, and Herds has this position on lockdown. Doesn't quite land the first spray. That gives an inkling to cameraman. Who turns the corner with the shoddy Hell in a Cell on the stairs, but finally he has Did he just swing into that? Still not planted. GDM's gonna force it on, but KZ fire up. And that's the beauty in the way that W7M play with their food. They start out on the roam clear, but KZ, he's a step ahead. He knows that. Oh, so lost every game. To use that ground floor to I mean, yeah, traditionally, oh, she's not really that good internationally. They did decent the Charlotte Major, but they had a buy in groups, and it was like NA team. By being a step ahead of that rope fall off, and trusting in his teammates to make that push through to flush the defenders into his cutoff, it was perfect from W7M. And that's why it's been such a dominating start here on Cafe. Karazora with the 23. Wow. They the 23 on me. Seven of the prime. Thank you, thank you. Zero deaths, plus 16 round differential. They win most of their attacks, they win most of their defenses, they're just damn good on cafe. They took down Elevate 7 3 just yesterday. FaZe Clan, on the other hand, I mean, cafe, we have seen them win before, we saw them also win it yesterday. But when you're taking a team to a map that they are so perfect on, it's such a gamble. Faye's looking to repaint this basement bomb site. Bullet, he's playing a little bit more cheeky this time, not behind the shield, knowing that those grenades are going to follow through early and instead getting his ready up and contesting the window straight away. You can just see these teams, the way that they wait for this aggression, the way that they patient. CTG made an article, so it has to be true, right? It's, it, it, that's funny. You know, that's real funny. Full clear, the full roam clear. Got a lot of work to do here. And this is well read by W7M as well, right? Last time they attacked this bomb site, they directly hit Bakery. They're able to find picks there. And look at that phase. They've dedicated so much of their utility to this anchor hold that in fact this is one of the major. I think. Gifted the map control to W7M. I think one of these Brazilian teams are gonna win it. Whoever makes it out of this, I think. A minute down. Oh. Mm. Not lacking at all in confidence. He's going to check a little bit as well with the Gemini. But you're exactly Because in my mind, a very different kind of the Latin playstyle beats the EU playstyle. Where is the primary point of ingress going to be? But the wild factor that Rogue has right now is that they're all playing really well this event. Like they're all just hitting their shots. They're all playing, playing tight. Conversation through the mid round herds. What's he calling for the team? Yeah, what is the call? Because for FaZe, the call is that we're feeling a lot of pressure right now. Vertical lines open. 
Now we know that W7M have a hell of a lot of information. And look at FaZe, they've been pushed completely off the site, having to play these adjacent positions. Only a player inside a coffee, but that player's gonna have to be pushed out soon. He can patch up some holes with those keeper barriers. But what of it? Grenades oh. flow through as well, it doesn't connect. He can hold on to coffee, but for how much longer? And he's sealing up that vert. Still herds peeking, looking for a pick. Already cleared a lot of these keeper barriers. Just 40 seconds left, and we're still in this five on five. Oh no, that could be disastrous as well. FaZe, they're using the smoke canisters to deny this freezer push. It has to be something else from FaZe. The site control is still theirs. W7M have got to make an impact here. Time ticking away. They don't have much information. They haven't cleared everything. Cameraman down and out. But FaZe do not stop fighting. It's only what the fuck is happening? Is Cyber climb up the hatch? Yay. Yeah, go big, homie. Dude, why is she just... Yeah, Dude, Cyber still got barbed in his pocket. What's he doing with that barb? Cyber reveals his position twice. KZ's fallen back as well. Cyber's got to make it on through, but look at how far back KZ has found his Dude, is that, that prep wall is open, huh? Shit. Just 15 seconds left. He's got to send it, and with that, we know that there's no chance. Oh, wait a second. No way! It's got on it! Is there going to be time? Is he going to make it? He does have time, but... Cyber, he lands the clutch! What the fuck? That's my alarm. Bro, wh who was that? Who was that fucking? We thought it was all W7M, but in the end, flushed out. On that attack by the smoke, the bomb went down, but Cyber <laughs> using that orange such the perfect piece. Who was the Nomad, bro? Or the Finca? Went out that clutch, four phase. If it had been anyone else, KZ would have won that. I mean, it was by a factor of 30 milliseconds, 300 milliseconds, just a split moment in time. The production taste was shown on the screen. Yeah, that was really kind of cool. Oh my goodness, that's something. That was a pretty big troll. Obviously, we don't know what was happening. You know, take everything with a grain of salt. But that was, from the top down, kind of a troll. There's like no time. I don't know. This is a series. It really is. Certainly, his face finally get their first round here. It's been so difficult w7m are such a confident attacking side of team and phase historically struggle on their defense <sighs> you speak about confidence for w7m but look at this hold from phase playing and not just a line of sight a rotate hole now now don't 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 go too hard on him because we don't know we don't know what happened kind of a troll nothing but confidence in this lobby the phase can't have that momentum on their side as well on the back of a clutch like that, W7M. I mean, Somebody else could have been trolling. There's a KZ? KZ? Someone else could have been trolling him. realization for W7M. I cannot believe we just lost that. And that's when you need to keep the mental strong. You can't go arguing about things that you can't change. This attack on the cafe, of course, always slow. Trying uh, to make their way oh. onto the roof. The first point. Onto those repels in cyber, here's a C4 ripped onto this white room fell. Oh. Almost connects into KZ, but he's able to get away with his life. Oh, have a look at that. FaZe Clan looking to get aggressive onto this position. The C4, they've also made a rotation outside of garage. And KZ Bro, they don't have to hard watch it instead of play actively on his position. And cameraman, of course, he's still holding on to this rotation. Wary that KZ I don't have a Jaeger at all. He gets on the camera. Oh, can it see the rotate? Oh. He gets off it. It gets back on. Okay, thank goodness. Cameraman <laughs> on the cameras, of course, able to spot out this push. All right, so what nation league is the hardest? Set up in piano, and you wanted to clear it with the help of I don't know. Window, but if Astro gets a little bit too I mean, it probably would just be USN that when we had it. Position from JV. Nice support there from the keeper barrier on the white window. 
grenades follow from below oh no we'll walk right into it he does it but kz he can find the first pick i guess copa is technically right it's starting to crumble here on uh, no it's not astro low hp as well makes him very vulnerable to any more nades fortunately for him it's just the one left but maybe because in the finals it depends it, it just depends on when the uh scream or the the matches start They usually do the reveal. Oh, I should be able to stream it. I should be able to. Are they BO5s? Yeah, it is BO5. Not an unlimited OT, though, which is weird. I don't know why they took away unlimited OT. I don't know why they took away unlimited OT and fucking, um... Down the last remaining need as well. Majors. Wants to jump out this window. KZ completely unawares, it seems. But W7 have found it in. You know what? There's only 20 seconds left here. The jump out. Oh, no, he can't land it. What an embarrassment. It's only cameraman left. He makes it a 1v2. But that defuses. That's just an unlucky jump out. GDN has to fake it, has to relocate. Cameraman. If you jump out when the guy's directly above you, you're dead. This fucking Goomba stomped him. The 4K and the one on three. FaZe Clan. What a reply. Oh, FaZe Clan, they are still in this. Every time it feels like W7M have a grip on the site. Two clutches now in a row. These hacks slipping out of the hands of W7M. And at this point, what do we have to say for W7M? It's desperation. They started so strong. They know how to attack this map. They know that they are one of the best teams to do it. Cafe, they have been flawless on all stage long. And FaZe Clan here, a clutch and another clutch. Two in a row, back to back, to bring FaZe even on the scoreline. W7M, realistically, they can't afford to lose any more attacking rounds. Damn, I guess you just dodge those bullets. Teams are left in this major. W7M, FaZe Clan, and Rogue. Three spots left. Well, oh, I guess one spot left. I hope W7M wins this map just so I don't only stream two one and a half maps of this fucking semi-final day. Waiting for that right timing to jump on it and W7M aren't rattling them at all. Oh, in fact, quite the opposite. It feels like with every clutch that FaZe gets, W7M Yeah, when I think a Bra I think one of these Brazilian teams will win it. With every advantage that slips between their fingers, the question raises, whose fault was that? Who's to blame? I kind of hope Rogue win it though, and they I, honestly like I'm not I'm not even saying that like the whole Brazilian thing with like confidence because it's like I literally think it'll be a 50-50. Like both teams, whoever whoever goes against Rogue are gonna get fucking. There's it's gonna be a long match. Why they shoot the class? Uh, I'm not really the Skylight player, but I'm pretty sure it's just because um. Oh, uh, like visibility. Like it's easy. It's just easier to see whenever you look. You look down at. Also, some stops bullets. And that's pretty rough. Maybe it might stop the first bullet. Could, could do that. Get away with his life. Astro doing a little bit of damage there on the long angle with the evil eye. W seven M. Souls with two wires again has to be bugged. I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure Souls has two barbed wires. 
Because Cyber had one barbed wire in that in that one v one on kitchen. What the fuck? These mistakes, W7M, they never make them. What is going on? Is that what Matt says? Getting to them and the experience of this phase roster is letting them get away with things that they just shouldn't be able to. Another one for Souls. Souls 100% just has two barb. There are cracks in the armor for W7M and oh no. Let's hope that they can at least refrag out this position. Souls, what's he going to be able to do? Another one. And he is a menace in this position. G ah, shit, there's an ad. Fuck. Sorry, guys. Sorry, the ad started. I couldn't catch it. All another flash to go through. Completely blind his souls. But Astro still has the information from this evil eye. And there's just no time left. GDN is a dead man walking phase clan. W7N, no, you can shoot through the bar. That you cannot shoot through. It's, that's like a fucking, that's like a, it's like a croissant. It's like fucking 20 layers on that on that bar. You have to blow it up. You cannot shoot through that. The only person that can really shoot through it is like a thinker or so if you spend like 100 bullets on it. And then you have to shoot through that same exact spot. Alex, they have the prime. Bull eyes, they have the tier one. This system, they have the tier one. Phase clan have brought an extra fire today. Pick a shower the two. Bolo, much love, homie. Uh, my elo, they have the tier one. Robot, they have the prime. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. When is stage three start? Uh, September something. Mid September. One of the tournament favorites. The most unpredictable and aggressive team that we have seen for quite some time. And yet here it is. They must get back on that horse. Faze now actually taking us over to mining and dining. Now, I love this bomb site because every time I see it play it, I go, ooh, this is a bit exciting, something new. Cyber, of course, being the site, actually not even the site construction for this lineup. There's actually nothing other than the Aruni punches to construct this site at all. That fascinates me. I wonder what FaZe have got up their sleeve. Oh, it's his last ditch effort now for W7M. If they can't make good use of that tactical timeout, if they can't capitalize, it's got to be over. You've got to say it. FaZe Clan historically struggle on their cafe defenses. W7M typically flourish on their cafe attacks. And today has been an entirely different story. They must put everything they've got into winning this final round of attack. And can you imagine what was going on in that tactical timeout for W7M? They probably didn't even think that this would be the bomb site. They probably thought, oh, they're going to go back to another one that we played. We've seen it before, but actually, they haven't seen this at all. W7M, they start their attack. But someone playing aggressive inside of piano, that's cyber. A fortress inside of this room, contesting the repels. Oh. Dude, a zombie in cafe is fucking whack, bro. One of his ADSs has been taken down, though, and now he's concussed as well. Moves forward aggressively, worried about someone on the south windows, but now he's lost his cover from the west windows. And now he oh. must continue to push. The player on the repel does a lot of damage. And KZ manages to survive. Cyber on the jump out. Can't find the second. W7M. The best chance of winning an attacking round has finally come about. But just look at Astro who's starting to get aggressive on this hatch drop. Do they know? Have they droned him out? There's a drone on top red. Astro's one barb. Their way the hatch no, he doesn't. Did he just put it down or something? Can they slip through the cracks here? Dude, what's good with these guys and their barbed wire? This. We have seen so many rounds where W7M had Bro, even if I have barbed wire, I'm like, where do I want to put it? Like, I'll literally just put it in the middle of nowhere. Every inch you give them and stretch it out to a mile. This 2v4 become a 2v3. And the lead is slipping. 
W7M cannot let FaZe get away with it anymore. And just look at what the FaZe players have done now. They've gone aggressive, they dialed it up, but immediately pull back into the site. Just instill the fear. Is this binding? W7M plays that someone might be going into the but in fact they're not. They're just waiting for that second timing for the right moment, learning the dark arts of Siege, and that is timing. And W7M starting to press the attack. I think it's six pal to the hat. Being open now, it looks like it could be a five place execute. The longer that W7M wait, the more comfortable phase will be when this eventual execute comes through. W7M have to play for these refracts. They have to find these positions, but they don't seem to have a clue where phase are. Here comes the spray. Volps above. He knows the position at Astro, but what has Souls been able to do? Herd's now dropped onto the site. He's in train. Oh, sprays down. Can't quite land the shot. Oh, Souls, how does he win that? One HP in the 1v2. Oh, this guy's getting needed. And Volps, they have this right. The plan is going down with Volps to cover from above. Souls unable to deny this plan. W7M. They have a response. They finally even up the scoreline. And thank goodness for that. Finding their tempo. Now going to rhyme seven. There's another pocket bar he loses. Yeah, I guess. Once again. Same thing as last game. Deja vu even. But once again, it's all about the attack. That's what we've seen in this particular matchup against them. Well, in America, they play just such a unique siege in that <sighs> No other region has got... Dude, it's the most disrespectful team. What does that mean? Like, disrespectful in what sense? For W7M. While they did manage to even that up, FaZe going on to the attack now. It is their favoured side on this map. And what's more, FaZe chose Cafe. They knew that they would be playing it. And if there are any counter strategies for the setups, that W7M have been playing. FaZe will be ready to deploy them right now. W7M have revealed this VOD of CAFE quite a few times, twice already at the Berlin Major. And so FaZe Clan, I'm looking at them. They should be in the advantage here. But W7M can't let them. They can't afford to lose any more rounds. They've got to march forward and keep their heads up. Keep that momentum going. Herd has got to be yelling some crazy things. Get that momentum back in. This is a very extended roam as well from W7M. Gerst, you out of the game? I mean... Control too early, roaming all the way in the top floor. I mean, all that shit just happens on Twitter after the fact. Back into train if needed. Astro, though, the rest of phase immediately putting pressure on that ground floor. Putting Ooh. pressure on the site, giving W7M something to worry about. Yeah, look at this angle from JV as well. A very long one. It's an ambitious target him to hit outside side but keeping the legion of jv at play or oh, rather the uh, mute of volps at play on the white stairs a phase not actually going to look to clear the map they're just going to send it in bakery is free well it doesn't look like w7m have fallen for this just yet they know they still have the vertical control in their favor the vertical it can see the breach it can see a freezer push it can see whatever you need it to and so w7m know as long as they hold on to this eventually phase will have to clear them cameraman starts to make his way in through pep and is there any w7m player that is looking their way oh that's so well played the drone to spot the electric wall the maverick to quickly take it out now Bo is the shit who talks. Yeah. He's actually gonna grab that charge and he just manages to get it off before the claw will deploy. And that's a beautiful way to breach the wall. This is just some masterful siege that we're seeing. Everything, the macro game, the Wait. rotations, even down to the micro is insane. Do they have anybody up top? Kicks it off with a C4. Astro to this guy's in prep. Now inside of prep. Could be inside There's no holes. And there he is, live drone to head as well, trying to hunt down, overwhelm the site. A player doing the dishes, taken down. Astro marches on forward. Can he find another one? JV wins the critical fight. And FaZe try to recompose. W7M will not let go of this. What the fuck is happening? Just look at what Volps is doing. He's above. With How is W7M winning this? Oh. He can start to get control into Freezer. It won't be held on for long. <laughs> what the fuck? That. Every pick they can find. Souls putting that diffuser down, but W7M going to be able to retake it. They have the numbers advantage. They have positions to make it work. 
Oh! Oh! Oh, the third one on the red. Third one on red. Just play the post, bro. What the fuck is that? What is that? Is that the is that, is that the crowd? Well, how long am I going to be live for? Uh, look at this advanced position for Bullet. Astro recomposes for phase, but Bullet's in a real pinch. Um, what time is it? 11. We're probably going to watch the semifinals, and then I might play some Tarkov because FPL is sure as shit not popping. And then I have to be gone by 12 30. Twelve thirty is probably my cutoff. I gotta go get lunch with my uh, family. The stream deck. Aggressively. They're bringing the Monty to try and deal with it. Yeah, you don't often see Monty. Gee. Astro so low on health, trying to find oh. a player outside of Y, but it doesn't matter. Herds, he comes around for the backstab. This is where it comes down to how they play the 2v1. W7M have so much talent, but sometimes the pressure gets to him. And the shotgun can't land its shot. It's all on bullet. What the fuck? This is fuck that mute. Dude, no shot is about to be a 2 0. It does not matter what you throw at these phase players. You can throw a lineup of completely fragging operators on the defense, but it doesn't matter because phase are there. The individual prowess of every single one of these players we speak about. This phase lineup, Bullet, the most solid entry, consistent, always showing up for this roster. And just look at this 1v2, the pre fire. <laughs> 
Dude, I love it. I love it when they slow mo fucking Brazilians' reactions, bro. All right, Faze. You've made me think this might be doable. Map one. It was close, but Faze were the clear better team. And here on map two, it's inches where they are stealing these rounds away. W7M, they've lost that fire burning inside them. They're looking dejected. Where is the W7M that we saw dominate stage one and stage two of the BR6? Where is the W7M that topped their group here at the major? W7M, they're being taken down by the old guard currently actually trying to do this top floor hold instead. Now, I could be wrong here, but I don't think we've seen them do this yet. Architecting this piano hold, castle barricades, keeper barriers, whatever it might be. Looking to try and get creative against this phase roster. Yeah, it's been so difficult for W7M to lock in any defenses. Tried two different sites now and lost them both times. And like you said, now trying a third. Yeah. It feels like they can't find their, their, comfort, their comfort. They can't find anywhere they're confident and rattled. The lion scan wary that herds may be looking for a runner and found what? A man just around the corner. He would have been punished for that one. Uh, just teasing out the aggression at the moment. Are they on windows right now? Is herds and he rotates oh, they're all far okay. away from that run out position. Here Zora with the two gifted, thank you, homie. Thanks for the love. Hope you get some thank yous. He's in this aggressive position, but look at that. Player on the new hatch straight up swings him. Is lucky to survive. Oh, Astro. Big pick. That's the X Factor Roma of Herds. I can't tell if FaZe is just decent at attacking this or if W7M is just fucking off the shit. so low, and Astro, he can collect a second. JV taken down now. W7M, Casey, he's looking for something aggressive. All right. What the fuck is this? Finds one. Puts Astro's reign of terror to an end, but he's got to land another one here. Takes a bit of damage to Souls. So claustrophobic, RW7M phase pushing them into a corner. Retaking this position. Azen does. Shut down by Cyber. Surely in the, surely in the Castle Grand Final. I hope so. I think Azen does. GDN now in the one versus five. Takes five to the window, but it does not matter. Cameraman, he can take him down. This is the best duo right now. I, I've thought they've been the best duo for a while, actually. They have been relentless on these attacks. Barely broken a sweat. So much time have Astro and Cameraman been on this team. And for so long have these guys been gunning to put their names up with the greats of Rainbow Six. Like the G2. Cares are with the, like the five on top of the two, man. Sheesh. They gave the fucking love. Really appreciate the, the, the support. The generosity. Berlin, they will gun for a second. And it looks like they may well make it to that grand final. But W7M, they still want to be in the conversation. They will not go down without a fight. Damn, that shit was going fast as fuck, and that was slow mo. I guess DMR is moving. Of kitchen. Playing an extended hold into bakery. Yeah, well. this shit's over, bro. W7M is shocked. Now, last time they did this, it actually ended up coming to their demise. The retake coming down red was too funneled, and in fact, phase. They were able to pay the post plan perfectly. Oh, no second chances now. W7M. Three failed defenses, and they have to win three straight to push overtime. Kitchen cooking will be potentially the side that phase attack in what could be their final round of this match. But look at the lineup that they've brought. They're looking for something a bit special. I'm trying to. S okay, people are talking. Okay. Big roam clear coming out actually from phase. We've got the jackal in hand. The fuse as well to aid with that. Damn, blitz of the prime. Given there, gridlock, locking out those flanks, of course, and. Dude, I wanted this to go three maps. I've only been streaming this shit for an hour. There's not a whole lot of resistance for them. Most of them sitting on the site, simply waiting for the onslaught of phase to come through. We need to see that fire from W7M. It's what they do better than anyone else. They know exactly how to make those timings work. How to make those aggressive plays count. And when they don't have that. They lose their identity. They lose what makes them W7N and what makes them so terrifying to play against. W7M 
when we when we met them they told stream us hot tub hot tub yeah trophy. this brand new roster want to do a shower stream might be taken out here by the old guard showing up for possibly their second major win if they can propel themselves into the grand final and face have so much experience and that's the difference between these two teams. So watch Rovers uh, XM. <coughs> I wanted to, but that shit was too early, man. One of the biggest names in esports. And here come the fuse pox. Just look at this mid round control that they have. The fuse Emphasis on the mid. Side flush out the anchors. We've just had to see JV sprint his way out there, averting the crisis. And there's so much in the hands of. I promote my stream. If you give me fifty dollars, I'll let you. W7M. Fifty dollars, no more, or more if you want, no less. Uh oh. Okay, souls. Cannot afford to let Faze get away with a five v five execute. Here comes a flash. Volps tanks it and moves forward. He's got to land this shot on the player outside bakery. But Faze, they fall. Bullet taken out. JV. Oh, he doubles it up. And he goes aggressive upstairs. This is what W7M needed, a resurgence. They will not go down easy. Cyber, he's taken out. It's a flawless round. W7M cannot let this thing die. Yeah, that, guy's, that guy's intense. As well. In the beginning, they'd given everything. Play coffee. What is that? What is that? W7M knew that they just needed to find the timing. When FaZe were looking to convert that mid round into the lay round. And although FaZe were able to push them off the anchor positions in the side itself, JV, he was able to get aggressive onto the players pushing Play coffee. instead. Do you really need to make coffee like a fucking they put from gamer one, energy drink? Isn't that what just this coffee? Time, W7M had the read onto it, took the fights. And you know what? I won't. Now, still in no, I won't. I won't fuck around. And there's so much at stake here for W7M. To see a Brazilian organization win a trophy is something that very rarely happens. Team One did it a year ago in Mexico. And Team Liquid won a Pro League Finals as a Brazilian roster, but not a Brazilian organization. Same thing for FaZe Clan with the Major in Sweden. And I know for a fact that that counts to these proud Brazilians of W7M. They want to see that name light up the stage. And they will not go down easy. They know FaZe so well. Just yeah, I mean, they're doing the same exact setup. I think FaZe just takes this round. Those guys can flex onto just about anything. Look, so we can see. Cameraman, he's on the Nomad. Astro, he's hopped on the Zero as well. And really all they need was a set of nades from the side of Fluid. And really... Did he bust not going to promote? Yeah, you, you didn't even do slash ME. You didn't even do slash ME. You just fucking italicized it. Centric, stagnated, static hold once again. They could really fall victim to this combination of intel. I stream tomorrow, Major. I hope so. It could be disastrous. It's early for phase, and once again, it's so repel centric. It's so patient. They don't have to get overzealous. They know how close they are to locking it out. But they are a measure twice, cut once team, and every time they strike, it is with such precision. Astro now deploying all of his SAM cams into the sidebar one. What intel can he find from these SAM cams? Are they doing a bottom? Anchors of W7M so far, holding on to this pixel position, backstore. But look at this from Cyber. Immediately getting to work on the second floor, getting ready for that intel to come through to play those grenades. We can see in Cook one, it follows through. Oh, GDN. This guy's gonna fucking already barrage on him. Perfect from Cyber. Dude, none of these guys have ran a Jaeger. The only thing they run is a fucking Aruni. Does, does Lad Am just not like Jaeger? Until Meyer busts. Oh. He's made his nade count as well. FaZe Clan once again in the advantage. They have expended all the utility though. The oh. rest has to be on gunfights. And Herd, he can take the first. W7M, even the man count. There's information for FaZe at one player below. And so Bullet 
pushes on forward there's Volps in the freezer and he does the damage that his team needed FaZe Clan only have two players left but look at this positioning from Souls. we've seen bigger clutches before he's got to wait he's got to fall back W7M holding on look at this creep up from Astro caught out Okay. Once, once again, it's all up to Souls. The flank is not there. It's a 1v1. It's all up to Wait, Souls what? to lock in the grand I don't think he knows it's a 1v1. And now, and now he does. He knows it. Baiting out the plant, Volps. He's found two already, and he has to land this last Oh, God. Souls is going to lock down this diffuser. No, it's a bait. He shoots the C4. Oh. He must try again, but it's... He hopped off? Game. Close, but no cigar. W7M. One more round until overtime. W7M are still in it. Phase. Once they had expended that utility, it was all on the gunplay. They had no choice. They had no more hard for each. Both of them being used on the hatch. They just had to funnel through those doors. And W7M, the young gunners, so sharp. Able to take them down in this mid round when they had Michael's doing the first plant. He, I'm pretty sure he would have died if he stuck the first plant. But face man, you can never count them out, even when Volps took down two players. You still can't count out. Honestly, that was a pretty big troll, dude. They took below final chance now to lock it in in regulation for phase, or they were, I guess, they were trying to, I guess, they didn't really take it. Are we'll they having any camps or something down there? Now this is what I like to see from W7M. Herds on the vigil, KZ on the Azami. This is looking like an exciting hold on the top floor, isn't it? Of course the bomb site being reading and fireplace, but they don't want to give up that vertical pressure straight away. Azami barriers going inside of piano. The vigil gonna make it very difficult to clear and drone out that top floor for phase. And this is the guts that we needed from W7M. Needing to play their game at their pace. Bring these aggressive operators, make an aggressive hold because FaZe are so good at these slow and steady methodical pushes. W7M needs to create chaos. FaZe shaping around <laughs> now. Cameraman wary of some of these runouts will put down some Nomad charges. To protect himself. There's nobody playing Jaeger on my wall. Well, my is banned. But that's what I was saying. No one's running Jaeger. The only thing they'll run is a Rooney. Will they contest him? And how quickly can they do it? Because he could be a real nuisance here on the top floor. Clearing piano is the first step. You see Cyber's drone go out. Spot the player in the pixel. It's KZ. Got a shield to protect him and herds to support as well. Dude, inside bar. Long lines I side could not. I'm the pixel guy, and, and I could not imagine sitting on that shield like that with no ADS. Dude, and that's me. I'm getting my fucking ass bombed. Just to wait for that jump out. There's no claymore on that window. He doesn't know it. The cameraman is watching intently. Actually, Volps deciding to fall off inside. Actually, I think FaZe ran a little bit of Jaeger on their kitchen. Floor, I think that's the only time they would ever run Jaeger. They do. Still, drones need to go through grenades. All this utility being expended. Oh, no. And he actually takes our cameraman with him. That's not the grenade that they needed. Heard spotted, taken down. So at least FaZe Clan can even up the numbers. KZ still at large on the top floor. These C4s. They land absolutely nothing. KZ's got to have an impact. There's a player right around the corner. And Cyber wins it. Is oh, it's a pump. It's a pump, bro. It's a pump. Are on their last okay. Legs. But there's only 50 seconds for phase. They need to convert it still. And the diffuser are still outside the building as well. Maybe it has to be on frags. GDN being pressured oh. out. <laughs> White says, but isn't there a player there as well? Souls finally gets Where the, the fuck is Souls going? He's got to repel up. This is going to come down to the wire. If FaZe can't lock it in and kills, Cyber pushing forth and he once again shines as the brightest star. Volps, he's taken out. It is uh oh. JV, FaZe inching uh -oh. closer to victory. Major champions once before.
Damn, the host is about to just see them fucking be distraught. Some rounds phase look crazy. Some rounds not not very crazy. Oh, they do everything up here. And tradition. Cameraman is here. Took him a while. He was just putting his shoes and socks back on. Composed and socks. I mean, last time Damn, he had them dogs out. We he had them whole dogs out. Looking to become the two time. Yeah, man, got like the two. You are one step away right now. Tracker force in the prime. Rub city sit to two. They're the prime. For a good game, a good match. Hopefully, uh, it's gonna be a show. W7M came into the playoffs, you know, with a lot of momentum. Uh, a lot of people were calling them. I mean, I play with my shoes off, but I keep the dogs contained. You know, they're in there. They're in the crate. Easy there at all, but you took down a giant. Yeah, of course. Uh, I think that's the most consistent team in the in Latam. They're in a very good shape. Uh, they're just this much to be a. Uh, in a major finals and to be like a six invitational uh, you know this much you're, you're you're not you're not you're not quite us is what he's saying you're not quite us buddy an incredible run now you touched on it there and i think we have to talk about it this is a very rug friendly crowd right and they're going to be very is it happy the prime very very loud tomorrow. KSG Snipera? Snipera? Do you think Snipera that would cause you problems? I don't think that would cause any problems to us. Uh, we are here to play. We are here to have fun. Uh, you're just going to give us more feel. And that's it. <laughs> so you're saying that there is nowhere, right? That Leon is going to be standing here at the end of the night tomorrow and saying, get in the bin. No. I'm so confused, dude. So <laughs> it's so okay. Imagine this. Can I pause this? I wish I could pause. Let me do it over on YouTube. Now, is this up to date? Here. Look at this. So we've got a wonderful crowd here. So whoever wins this event. They have to go down the stairs? Like, how are they going to do it? They have to go down the stairs. I just want to check. I just want to check real quick. And then go to the trophy? Just want to double check. Is it Rogue? Yeah. All right. Well, I cannot wait for it. Milos, down to you on the desk. So, like, how does it, how does it work? Like, you... You know who the real winners are? Oh. And the they got to go to... Okay. Mr. Big Tim. So they win, and then they do the interview up top. And then they're like, all right, guys, time to go get your trophy. And then they all just start fucking start going down the stairs. And then they got to, yeah, wait. I'm sure, I'm sure they'll probably, hmm. They just get better and better over the tournament. They Usually for grand finals, they move the trophy. So they might actually put it up there. They might put it up there. Quarterfinals, semifinals, and then they're going into the final tomorrow, Milos. And I cannot wait. It's going to be a war between these two teams. All right, I don't want to. Realistically, they're so similar. There's a lot of sim Well, it's over. Done. <clears throat>
because it's hard to walk down. So no, it's not as no. I'm not saying it's hard. It's just it's kind of it's just I don't know weird, a little bit strange. But I'm sure honestly, what will probably happen tomorrow is they'll probably put the trophy up top. They'll probably put the trophy up top if I had to guess. Because they usually always have the trophy in front of like the analyst desk or something. Unless it's invite. And then they'll move it. Who do you want to win? I, I, I would like to see Rogue win. I would like to, but I think FaZe might inch, inch it out. But it's going to be a tough match. Like, honestly, it's like me saying FaZe. I'm only saying that because they've been in the spot before. Internationally, they've just been really consistent. Even though Fit Rose has been doing really good. And I think they, they definitely have the potential to win it. Um... All right, well, uh, let's see. Come play a rank time, not point a rank. Curious what they want to bet something. Thank you, thank you. Um, I can stream for about another hour and a half. Let's see. It In the off chance that FPL is up right now, like is popping, we can, um, we can see. But it's not. It is not popping. There's zero people in the queue. So, we're going to just play some Tarkov for about an hour or so. Let's see. Let me have the team speak in case someone's around. What up, Roland? Do I have audio? Bro, GoXLR fucks up so much of my shit. Why is that my output device? Okay, well, at least I have audio. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. I think I updated the uh, stream and everything. Nice scabby boy. I I look like a PMC, so hopefully somebody shoots shoots at me. Moved on from Siege, I would not move on to Tarkov.
Two PC setup, yeah. Yep. Do I have a black rock? Someone's shooting my ass. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck happened? Dude, where are all the players scattered? What is that voice like? Oh. One on one on one on one on one on This why fucking Miracles in the front. Thank you. Dude, the ninety five. Outfit or what is it a shirt that I get for part one? Oh, I can buy this now. Fuck. 
Oh no, I get pants for fucking part one. Which one is it? Do I do it? How are the gloves? Gloves are pretty cool. Dude, fuck. What have I been wearing? Maybe, maybe when I get 30 mil. Dude, what do I even want to do? Do I just want to go... Speedrun customs and find Rashala and do that quest? Or would I go lighthouse and kill rogue? You know what? I'll do customs. This is the one without the flashlight. Drop still enabled? I don't think so. Then again, I don't entirely know. Wait, what the fuck is this quality gun? Hold the fuck up.
Probably just probably just gonna speed run some fucking Rashala. See what happens. Is this red dot cool? Looks good. Why did I insure it? Whatever. I should have just insured my armor. <sighs> Any chance you will visit Germany? I was contemplating coming out, but schedule didn't work out. Hey, maybe next time. Sorry, homie. Sorry we suck. Like already over mutant? Um, not really, honestly. It's just kind of whatever I, whatever I have and whatever. Uh, whatever's the best. This is R fourth at the prime. Shalom the boys. Your eyeballs ready, boys.
How did I not? How was how was I not the first one there? What spawn? Okay, well that's fucking nice. Actually, you know what? I'll just do lighthouse. I need to do rogues, especially after that one. The fuck just happened? I have another one of those RB rigs. I thought I had one more. I need to sell this shit anyways. Dude, I literally thought that was a scab for a second. Just post it up. Actually, I should use a sniper. I need to use a sniper. Get my sniper skill up a little bit. Grizzlies are not that expensive, right? Like fucking 30k? Bring a little fight Oh, I am. I definitely am. Why did I buy that? Whatever. Do I have a pistol lying around? I think I sold all my pistols. Is. I gotta look at the chart. I don't remember. I always forget the 5.7 bullet. SB193. SS190 SS is barely better and it's got like it's like two three extra dollars around all right I think that's good I forgot my face mask good 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 okay not gonna ensure that I'll ensure my armor that's it. When I solo only armor. How long have we been playing Target Raw since Alpha? Let me prod it, they the three. Proki or Proki, they the two one.
old HK, yeah, meta HK. M995. If I visit six invite, I was, yeah, of course. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna turn it down. How many rogues spawn? Oh my god, what the fuck am I here? Oh. my armor up. I think that's him, right? Now he's further back. Yeah, it feels bad, it feels bad. Yeah, probably like an SR, yeah? Or a DVL. Just stack everything in here. I'm 
just got a Schmidt and Bender on. No shot. That guy's rocking fucking M61. Dude, do I just... I think this is what I'm gonna do. Take this out. Nobody will find it. Oh my god, what is the sense? What the fuck is this? Why is the 1x? Okay, I don't. I should have just kept that sight. Uh, you know what? I'll just do this. I'll meet halfway. I tried the little at the um, AXMC. No, I haven't. I want to though. Well, I will. S eh, I don't feel bad. I don't. I really don't. Fucking player scav, bro. Already. Place the M sixty one on them. I could have gotten a flashlight. Capital before? Yeah, I've gotten it before. Oh my god. Anybody post it up on that one? Oh, yes there is. I wanna be I wanna be accurate about this. Dude, fucking prone. Oh god. Fuck it. No shot someone saw him.
Where'd he get shot from? The good thing about the DVL is no, literally nobody heard me shoot that from over there. Where'd he go? Dude, I wanted to shoot the scab. I was using a fucking sag. BT. The fuck? A little bit of everything. Oh no shot, you have T. Wow, you actually deserve this. I'd rather use my fucking 5.7 of this gun. No, they looted Marin. Surely, yeah, surely he has to be thrown. No other option.
It's in for now. Heck yeah. That's gotta be an M700 scab, bro. Level forty five. Yeah, bro. See if I can pinpoint his location through his coughs. He stopped. I hope that lands on the roof. This might be the one time where I can use this guy's gun. How do I not hear anything? Oh my god, I hate this fucking jump love. No, it would not have been a great club. Not a good club. So this guy was the first one over here. If I can get all the loot. Wow, dude. Thank God. actually sells for a little bit and people buy it, but it's always open.
This is risky, just me having my head up. You know, I talked a lot of shit about this guy's gun, but it's honestly... Came in... Came in nice. Maybe the U-lock? Nah, it's 24. I don't want to carry it too much. I, I don't want to be too heavy. Depending on what gun that guy has, I might... Dude, like, I'm moving and I'm fucking losing stamina. 51 kilos. Yeah, I'm gonna just do this right now. Uh, bop. 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 Looks like 80k on the flea. Um, if it's like full repair, probably. If this guy's got a full U-lock, I'll, I'll take it. If it's full, I'll probably take it. But I don't want to spend armor points just to sell it. Another risky move. Jeez. do this, I'll do this. I'll wear them for right now. I want the fuel. But it's heavy. God, dude, I hate these fucking jump overs, man. Why can't you prone under these? Can I drop my bag here? I can probably get that from the other side, right? Cock in his inventory, it's golden cock. Yes, sir. Pop a milled donut just to get out of here. Gives me a little bit of strength. Strength. A little strength and I get some, some shit out of it. I 
it'll do enough. I think it'll do just, you know, just the amount I need it to do. Because the alternative is a fucking SJ or a mule. That's a bit too much. Vengeance with the 23. Almost two years, he'll be doing good. Much love, much love, much love. Maybe that fucking 23, homie. The DBLs have served me have served me well. What Mel Meldonan does? Uh, Meldonan, it's like strength, endurance, some other shit. Well, I guess I can't pull it up right now because I popped my only one. Did I take the rest of that guy's mags? Shit! Fuck, only- alright, only one mega BP. Whatever. Oh yeah, damage reduction, yeah. That's why I also popped it over here. The final stretch, everyone just watches that shit. Not bad. I didn't. I didn't get any road kills, which is what I was looking for. But it's okay. It's okay. We got some kills. Damn, dude! All of those guys were headshots. I actually feel the the worst for the fucking this guy right here. He literally spawned in a minute into the raid. And dies. He had one minute of playtime just running. He probably didn't even run out of stamina yet. And he just gets fucking shot in the head. And then this guy had a little bit of a better chance. This 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 was a sad guy, sad AK guy, with the fucking tracer. Like, why are you gonna run tracer in a fucking sag if you're posted on sniper mount? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, BT is okay, but whatever. Any tips for new target players? Uh, just watch YouTube guides. I mean, there's like a bunch of guides out there. Like, I still watch like guides to this day. YouTube is like the best source of information for Tarkov, like new guides, new player guides, all that good stuff. You like Tank M62 though? Which one? I don't think it did. That that thing was fucked. I'm trying to sell all this shit. I'll sell these fucking scopes too. How much does this go for the market? 38? Dude, I got so many attachments. Look at this. I'll keep the hollow. It's got an AP. This room's always open. No shot people buy this, right? I'm pretty sure people do, but... I'll just sell the theory. Okay, 
There's the theory. Oh, what time is it? Oh, that's probably gonna be my last one. I gotta go to fucking lunch with the fam pretty soon. So I gotta probably call it there. I don't know if I can commit to another one. Um, I think there's a restock. Restock. I got M61 of the Mamma Jamas. Not a bad raid. Not a bad raid. I got a Bitcoin from a fucking scav, some other bullshit. Uh, you know, I could probably do a scav factory real quick. I'll do that. End it off. Dude, that's actually... What the fuck? You put tags in the ammo boxes, you right-click and tag them. 350k from suppressors and sites, yeah. My target sense is 0.5 on both aiming and non aiming. Dude, there's always a dead guy right here. Ooh, what the fuck? murdered these people. Oh, I thought that was another fucking...
was interesting. Max, either the gifted homie. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. That's a. Uh, that has been an eventful scav. Sell that. I'll repair that. I actually need a loot buddy in case I want to get Kappa. And then I probably only from there I only need like. Because I have the glasses, Dr. Disrespect Armor, glasses, Dr. Willer, Willer's Wallet. I think I have all the rare ones. What's my next gap got? Uh, pretty mid. Keychain is hard to get in forklift key. I have the forklift key. Keychain? What is that? I guess I'm missing that one. Okay. Definitely missing that one. Yeah, I have the Jumbie glasses. Where's my, yeah, I have forklift key, the fucking keychain? I didn't even know that was a thing. Wait, this is an actual keychain. You can actually use it? That's cool. Yeah, so I have, I think they're all in this case. Oh, no, I have them separated. I have zombies. Dr. D's, the Dan X keys, the plushie. I don't know what else I need. I guess I need, I guess the only rare thing now is the keychain. All the other ones are pretty common. Oh fuck, evasion. God damn it, I forgot about the evasion armband. Shit. There's always something, huh? There's always something. I mean, I probably just farm the fucking caches for that now. Probably just play custom whenever the time comes. Okay, keychain and evasion armband. Where did I find the Danix? Uh, I found it. I've actually found two of them. I sold the other one. Um, just a scav. I I'm pretty sure I found both of them off scavs. Yeah, I have the wallet. Somewhere around here. In this fucking mess. I tried putting like a like a case somewhere. Dude, honestly, I should just put them in here. All like the little small stuff. Stuff that I'll forget about. What's the wallet? I already put it in. Yeah, we, we, we found Rashala. Gotcha died. He uh he died to him, and then I I, I came in for the, the cleanup. Wait, my USD is not in there? What? Where's all my USD at? I'm case exclusively for capital. I mean, is there that? I guess if you collect everything, because like the, the, the common stuff, like the smoke, like I always sell that shit. Bombers, the antique books. I always get rid of those. I actually found a 
Doctor disrespect armor early in the wipe, and then I didn't know how rare it was, and I just left it. And then I killed a guy that had it in his backpack. Alright, yeah, I gotta go, guys. I gotta get ready. Ooh, uh, oh, well. Until the next one. I'll probably... I might try to be on later today. Maybe do some FPL and then some more Tarkov. We'll see. You know, we'll see where the, uh, the day takes us. Oh, actually, I need to... Before I do anything, I need to make some more rip stuff. The goons are the biggest. I've not seen them once yet. I mean, I don't even have their quest. Because after Rochelle, you need to kill frogs, and I was just trying to do that, but I, I got late. I was late to the um, to the party. I don't want all of your vests. Should be the last one. Uh, should I make a mule? Two, two. Unsocial, we'll take the tier one. Maxi, I think I got you, but thank you once again if I did not. All right. We are done for now, done for now, but hopefully uh, later tonight we hop on, or maybe, maybe for some FPL, maybe for some Tarky. We'll see. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, we stream the grand final tomorrow. Fingers crossed on that one. So that'll be uh, interesting. Rogue versus FaZe. A good one to say the least. Well, other that, guys, I'm out of here. I gotta go. I gotta go. So I'll make it quick. Excellent work socials. Check out the platforms you can follow me on. YouTube, second like YouTube, Twitter, Insta, TikTok. All great stuff. Excellent work Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, you are due a free Twitch sub every single month. You can use it on anybody. It's the best way to support your favorite content creator. So go give them some love while it's free on your end for a service you're already buying. Exclamation mark charm for the bow charm in Siege. If you sub my channel, link your Twitch near you play, you will get the bow charm forever. It will never go away. You can unsub the next month and you'll still have it. There's a panel below shows you how to uh, how to get the charm, how to link your accounts, all the great stuff. It's real simple and it shows you the charm so you get to see what you get. Other than that, guys, I'm out of here. You have a wonderful day, wonderful night, in case I don't see you guys. And until the next one, huh? Until the next one. I'll see you when I see you, huh? Bye.